Even at 21, I thought, I can't wait to be 30. It was supposed to be the best year of her life. Uh, Krista Rodriguez thought she'd have it all figured out. But then, like, as 30 was approaching, it started to feel very uneasy. And, and, you know, maybe it was a harbinger of things to come. Maybe I knew what was on the way. One day, while doing a self-exam, she felt a lump in her left breast. Before I had made the ultrasound appointment, um, I had had the discharge coming from the left side. Rodriguez got the ultrasound and a biopsy. It was cancer. The tumor was like eight centimeters. It was very big. And, um, and I said, how did this happen? That's when I got angry. She turned that anger into action, from MRIs to genetic testing to freezing her eggs. You, you donate your body to science. Nothing is yours anymore for a long time. She decided to chronicle her journey on a witty blog, Chemo Couture. It took off in a way I didn't expect with um, especially women my age. In January, we did chemo. And then that's every three weeks for six cycles. And that's when Spring Awakening showed up in LA. No sleep in heaven. Spring Awakening tells a story of how teens navigate their emerging sexuality. Rodriguez was in the ensemble in an understudy in the original Broadway production nine years ago. This was very important to reclaiming my life, my livelihood, um, what I stand for, what I love to do. That six week long show gave her the extra push she needed for the next step in her battle with cancer, a double mastectomy and breast reconstruction. It really came down to longevity. The mastectomy was horrifically painful. I mean, the recovery from that and the expanders are very uncomfortable. They're hard, you know, and um, I, I don't have range of motion fully in my body. Soon after she got the call, Spring Awakening coming to Broadway. This version stars several deaf performers. These people are, you know, not, not the first people you would think of when doing a musical. Also, Ali Stroker, who's um, the first person on Broadway in a wheelchair. And that I find to be inspiring and heroic. Rodriguez says things are good right now. She's moving in with her boyfriend and is currently cancer free and taking life one day at a time. People uh, who I interact with are very quick to want to label me a survivor or that I've been cured of cancer. And I'm, I'm not comfortable yet in that. I don't know, I don't know when I'll ever feel like I'm done, but um, I'll just keep myself busy until then.